So what you have seen are animations made with Rive and Webflow officially supports Rive now. So if you have been active on Twitter, you must have come across Rive. But if you haven't, Rive is basically a design tool that enables you to create real-time interactive 2D animations for your websites, games and apps. So it is optimized for performance and making the animations lightweight and smooth for web users. Spline and Lottie animations are already there. Another design tool you may ask. Well, Spline is primarily focuses on 3D animations, resulting in larger file sizes. Rive on the other hand focuses on 2D animations and interactivity. Since this is a vector based animation tool, the file sizes are significantly smaller. So if you are looking to create complex interactive UI animations without relying on HTML and CSS, Rive is definitely the way to go. Some popular websites that are using Rive currently are Figma's homepage, Duolingo and Shopify and many more. Once you go ahead and uh, inspect these pages, uh, you can see that these are not actually videos. It's a canvas element uh, that are incredibly lightweight and obviously made with Rive. So in this video, I'll give you a quick overview of Rive and show you exactly how you can integrate these kind of cool looking animations into your workflow project. So let's get started. So Rive has definitely a short learning curve, but I believe uh, it is totally worth it. So they have even offered a free dedicated uh, playlist on YouTube. So you can follow along. I will uh, link it down below. You can create pretty advanced animations with it. So what I love most about Rive is that this is a vector based uh, animation tool and you can create your vector assets and designs in any design tool of your choice and you can just paste it in Rive and animate it right away. So once you go ahead and create your account in Rive, you can see an interface similar to Figma. And uh, to create a new file, you just have to go ahead here and click on new file. So let's go ahead and just uh, YouTube and uh, for the artboard, let's choose this one. And for the sake of this example, we are going to animate this button over here. So here, just go ahead and right click and uh, copy it as a SVG over here in the asset just uh, control V and just bring it over here like this and here let's change it to button all right so here we have the button and let's animate it so uh, we have to focus on only two panel in the design panel where you can design the assets and vector files and in the animation animate panel where you can actually animate the things so in animation panel uh, this is called timeline timeline panel uh, here in the first timeline just go ahead and call it hover out and uh, create another one timeline and let's just call it hover in so in hover out what do we want is basically change the color of this uh, rectangle so let's add one keyframe over here and uh, add a keyframe on y axis and then on hover in okay uh, in hover in um, let's just go ahead and change this color to something like this and for button let's just uh, call it 185 so that it has a little move up effect and uh, yep then what you have to do uh, in the state machine this is state machine machine uh, which is basically where from where you can actually see all the logic behind the animation and all and uh, you can basically start your animation process from this state machine for now let's just move them away and uh, start from hover out here how we can trigger is uh, by creating listeners so listeners are basically even listeners of javascript so to create a listener let's just go ahead and create uh hover in where i want trigger at point enter and uh, 
yeah, yeah. Before that, we have to create one input, which is basically let's create one boolean whose value is going to be hover boolean, who basically gonna have uh, either true or false value. So in now in hover in, we can select this hover boolean is true, and uh, create another listener called let's just call it hover out and uh, we i want to trigger it at pointer exit hover boolean is false let's just bring hover in right here and let's just go ahead and connect it with like this now you can add one condition over here so the condition will be hover boolean is true and uh, let's just reverse it and let's call it hover boolean is false all right now if i play this and uh, hover over it it should work but there is no transition so transition because the duration is set to zero so let's just go ahead and add some easing and transition time to do this you have to click on click on this arrow let's just uh, Call this 200 millisecond and for this we are choosing this as curve and uh, here as well uh, uh, we are choosing this as curve and for animation time duration let's choose 200 millisecond and uh, now if i go ahead and play this it is uh, working properly all right so to use this you just have to go ahead and export this file like this and you can obviously uh, use it in Webflow. So this is a very basic and uh, pretty simple workflow and simple animation made you drive, but you can create complex animations like this one. So this is basically a file that I found on the Rive community. Uh, a big shout out to Ducks. Uh, look at this, this file is sick. All right, so you can see different animations which are being running here on uncover on follow xy you can see different states over here and see different animations on uh the state machine so this is called wind uh, which is basically moving his, his hair and all this is uh, the for blink this is for idle and this is for hover so i have tried to create something with this and uh, i'll show you how you can import it on webflow now so we take inspiration from this file and created this webflow project uh, to import the file what you have to do now that let's say you wanted to Im import uh, import this file on webflow so once you go ahead and export it um here apply the right file onto this uh, you just go to asset panel and uh, upload the right file and uh, here in let's say rive Place this with this on a little boy state machine one cover and let's add one class drive okay let's go ahead and publish this and let's see all right so see how it is interacting with uh, mouse movement and uh, it's pretty cool so that is it for the video and the uh, rive they have a pretty advanced and pretty long tutorial in their youtube channel you can learn more about it and if you found this video helpful make sure to give it a like and subscribe and uh, see you in the next one bye bye